All right, guys, here we go. Welcome back to the Fem Nation podcast, where I do just a little solo follow up of an interview that I just recorded. I had the pleasure of interviewing Hope Zavara today with Mother Trucker Yoga. She is a yoga and lifestyle expert, as well as a creator of the Hope Process. And you get to learn all about that in our episode. But I want to talk about how we connected and, and the level of connection that we women have that can be so powerful in the entrepreneurial space. And I talk about in the opening episode of the podcast in general, episode one, I talk about how we need to rise as a community of entrepreneurs and step into the space that we know that we should be having, but yet we talk about it should be ours, but yet we are not physically walking into that space. There is a lot, a lot of other dynamics that play into that. So that's not all that plays into it. However, if we want to be perceived and seen as the business owners that we are, then we need to actually step into and own the entrepreneurial space, the women entrepreneurial space, as we are called to. Now, that being said, Hope and I talked about some very interesting perspective on being in business. And she took her hobby, her, her um, horizontal line, her stagnant business that she needed to learn herself from and she created that trajectory for herself and there's a a ticket um, a trick a um, a nugget any of those words that resonate with you but she gave the actual piece that you needed to hear that you need to hear in order to grow your business into the direction and the gifts and the calling that you are meant to be standing in. We are called to greatness. We are all of us, every single one of us, we are called to be great and we are given gifts and we all know instinctively that we have a purpose. But in the after show and behind the mic, I was talking to her about something that I knew when I when her and I connected at a workshop and she was one of the coaches at the workshop. And I knew though, I couldn't figure it out, but I was going through the motions of the workshop and it was a, it was a sizable investment, well worth it. Every, every ounce of going to that workshop, paying for that workshop was well worth it. But I knew instinctively that I was playing safe somehow. I couldn't form it into words. I couldn't form it into what I was, what I what knew inside, but I knew if I continued to walk in faith and completely staring down any fear of what that layer looked like at that particular time, I knew that I would figure it out, but you can't sit still and think that it's going to come to you and the ideas or the clarity or the transparency, any of those, any of those things are not just going to come to you sitting on the couch. You cannot manifest that stuff up. It doesn't just come to you sitting on the couch. You have to make progress, effort, steps towards what you think you know it is. My vision for the future as an entrepreneur is I know that I am meant to impact a lot of entrepreneurs. I know that, uh, but I have removed my expectation of when, how, what platform, what medium, what area, who, did I say who already? but I'm trying to cover all those, but you see what I'm saying? I had that view. I see that view. And as entrepreneurs, we have to know the goal, but we need to not put limitations on that goal. Because if we think that we are supposed to go do this or go do that or go do this, and we are so hardwired that that's the only way we're going to be successful, we are not. Because the goal is not so much that it evolves, which it does, because we grow and as we grow, we, we get gain clarity, but it's not so much as it evolves, but we learn the perspective of what the bigger picture is. So then we broaden that bullseye and it no longer becomes just a tiny little pinpoint focus of what we think we're supposed to be doing. But when we strip back and let it be simpler, just let it be a little bit less difficult. Tell our technical minds not to play so much into this of what should or is or how to or how we're supposed to move through towards this goal. Once we strip that back and we're just like we we release and let go and say, what is it supposed to be? 
I know that I'm called to do this, this impact that I'm supposed to have, but I thought it was this, I thought it was that, and as I'm moving towards each one of those, working in stages and, and work, you, you know, in, in progressive stages, not speaking stages, but in progressive stages towards that, but being honest with ourselves that what are we supposed to learn in this progress and remove any expectation of outcome? What is it meant to be? How are we supposed to move in this world? How are we moving to that goal? And I'm going to tell you right now, as soon as you let go of what you think and what you expect the outcome to be, as soon as you let go of that, it becomes more clear and you all of a sudden see and answers come to you. And there are ways that you are given opportunity to be in the right place at the right time with the right connections for the right evolution of your business, for the right growth. and you're able to then move forward. And that is what alignment is. And not until you're able to be fully aligned with what you are meant to do, are you going to be satisfied as an entrepreneur? I have been doing this for years and I did plenty of businesses where I would just create it because I could or because I thought that that was the right way to do it. And those were all periods of time that I needed to go through. Those were all learning lessons I needed to go through, but not until I was coached about a year and a half ago by Heather Gray. And there, there's an episode in here, find hers because it is a fantastic episode, but not until she said, you're going to have to stop playing safe because I was keeping one foot in a safe zone and I was putting, I was dabbling, touching my toes to the water over on the other side. And I was like, Ooh, but I have this to fall back on. And she said, you're going to have to let go of that. And when I did, it was a scary transformative into the unknown with no safety net zone that I did not know what the other side looked like, but I was so tired of trying to make it muscle it into what it was supposed to be as my entrepreneurial journey or the impact that I'm supposed to make because my entrepreneurial journey is the, my purpose that my entrepreneurial journey is taking me to that purpose. So that's why this is so important for you as an entrepreneur. But as I kept going in it and as I finally let go into facing the fear of growing and learning and being in the unknown, but knowing that that was the direction I had to move or else I was going to have to settle for what I was doing. And that was not, that was just not it. Not until I let go of that piece of that business of, you know, providing that service, not until I did that and stopped identifying with it, did I find internal peace that I was on the right road. I was doing the right thing for once. I wasn't making it happen because I can make anything happen. I can build any business, but if it's not the right business, I'm going to pull my hair out eventually and figure out how I can unravel the thing. But not until I did that and stepped into the unknown of the greater calling that I knew I was called to, did I even have internal peace about it? And then stepping into being able to understand that every ounce of what I'm learning, every step that I make, every course I choose to take, every membership that I choose to be a part of, letting go, detaching completely from my perceived outcome has brought around some amazing, amazing changes in my life, amazing changes to my business, amazing transformations to who I am stepping into what I am supposed to do. And it has continued to show me, shine a light on the path that I'm supposed to take. That is what being an entrepreneur is all about. And that is why you're listening to this podcast because hope embodies that so well. She brought that to the table and that's why her and I di dynamically connected is because we have a parallel inside of where we are, are striving to be and the lessons we have learned and the, the impact we know we are, we are supposed to make. And I'm telling you, the impact that I know I'm supposed to make is bigger than when my previous business, when I was playing safe. I knew there was something else there, 
but I thought maybe that was it. And no, it is bigger than that. What you are called to do as an entrepreneur and stepping into your role and your process and stepping into faith and trust that the journey will guide you itself if you are, if you detach from your perceived outcome, if you just step towards what that process is, you will find first the inner peace, then the alignment that you are doing the right thing and the rest will fall in place for you. I want you to be encouraged because this is such a great episode and I dearly, dearly, dearly enjoy the, the truth and the very real interview that I had with Hope today. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. As always, do check into the links in the show notes under Hope's interview. And if you want to consider... <laughs> I think I've been podcasting for a while. If you want to continue the conversation, please do hit me up. I'm always open to connect, to, to have a conversation, to answer questions, and to just be that moment that you need in your life as you walk this entrepreneurial journey. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And as we always say, keep moving forward. <laughs>